Hello everyone, this is Peter Percy and welcome to Simple Learning. Today we're going to talk a little bit about marriage. We're going to give you some information about countries where people get married the most and countries where people get married the least. And also we're going to talk about some other stuff. First of all, what is marriage? Oh, you're waiting on, on me to tell you? I'm letting you guys to answer that question. Anyway, you can go look it up on Google, whatever you find or you believe, that's your answer. But, as I'm the one who's doing the show, I have to give a little details. Okay, from what I believe and what I've been taught, marriage was there since the beginning. God created Adam and the man was lonely. He was walking by himself in a big garden with a lot of animals. And the animals were kissing, having sex all around him. He wasn't happy. And God knew he wasn't happy. And he was like, hmm, it's not good for the man to be alone. I will make him something sweet, something delicious. Ah, that's my version. But I'm pretty sure he said that. God creation wasn't complete until he created Eve. He could have made her from the dust of the ground as he made Adam. However, he chose to make her from Adam's flesh and bone. And he said, you're becoming one. Basically, he married them. Marriage is something precious, something of value. In the past, not everybody could get married. You have at least to be somebody serious, somebody with a, um, with a good love resume, you know. People used to respect a married man or a married woman. They used to respect themselves too. But not anymore. Nowadays, marriage is not like the same because anyone could get married. Anybody. It's like a business right now. Imagine you go to Vegas, you meet someone in one night, the same night you could get married. Or the next day, you get married. But there's a difference between a married person and someone who just got the title. There are people that are married just because they're in love. They love each other deeply. They feel like they complete each other. And some other people got married just because they want the title. They want to be like, I'm a married man. I'm a married woman. But it's two different things. There was a guy named Scott Wolf. He was born in California in 1908 and died in 1997. That guy married 29 times. Scott Wolf. Do your own research because I'm trying to keep that show as short as possible, you know, because I know this generation is not patient. But once again, I'm going to give you a little details. Well, Scott Wolf, like I said, married 29 times. His shortest marriage lasts 19 days. His longest lasts 11 years. And he remarried three women that he previously divorced. And five of the women died. That's why he remarried. What's funny about, what's funny about his story? Um, in his 29 marriages, he had 40 kids. And when he died, none of his ex-wives went to his funeral. And only one kid went. Here's a list of countries where people get married the most. In the United States, 70% divorce take place because of money. Not cheating, not other things, but money. And 39% of marriages ended in divorce every year. And most of divorce came from women. Yeah. In New Jersey, to get a marriage license, it will cost you $28. And I think in New York, it's like $35. Imagine to get a marriage license, you, have, you only have to pay $28. But to get a divorce, it's between $325 to $400. Just to file your official complaint. And there will be additional charges. So it's, it's, it's cheap to get married. So everybody's doing it. 
Yeah, let's go get married. It's cheap. Just 20 it does. But the government know those marriages won't last like three years, five years max. So it's okay. Because the divorce, that's where the money is coming. Thanks for watching. My name is Peter Percy. I will see you next time for something different in simple learning. Don't forget, it's not, you know, expensive to get married. Go get married. I'll see you in the three years or five years crying. Bye. Do you think that everybody should get married? Yes. Everybody should get married. Why? We should have one person to always depend on. Okay, between married people and single people, who cheat the most? The married people. Because they that? tie down to one person and they don't want that, so they go out and explore more ass. You got a nice ass. I want to marry you. You think it's a good reason for me to marry you? No, because that means you only here for the sex. I need money. Oh, so you will you marry somebody for money? Yeah. Just in case you die, at least it'll go to somebody. Same way you're going to marry me for my ass, I'm going to marry you for the check. According to you, what is a marriage? Um, a commitment between two people. It can be three? Oh, no, no. You sure? Yes. What about people who have like three wives? That's fake. Crees que todo el mundo debería casarse? Eso es algo opcional de cada persona. Es una decisión muy personal. ¿Cuál es tu definición de matrimonio? Yo no creo mucho en el matrimonio, sí, porque para mí es más, eh, tiene más valor que una persona sienta más lealtad, tenga más lealtad por mí que fidelidad, ¿me entiendes?